Hi, I'm Dr. Nagasao. I'm a specialist in the treatment of chest deformity or pectus extremitum. I have produced a series of movies to help patients understand the specific details of the treatment so that patients can refer to these movies in selecting their surgeons. Today, I am going to talk about the importance of wound management. It goes without saying that in the treatment of chest deformity, the most important and essential purpose is to correct the shapes of the ribs and costal cartilages. However, management of the wound is also important to satisfy the patient. I explain this by presenting the results of actual cases. Please pay attention to the scars of these three patients, who were treated by three different surgeons. The scar of the right side patient is acceptable, because it is not conspicuous. The scar of the patient in the center is slightly conspicuous. The scar of the patient on the left side is thick and conspicuous. Even if the shape of the thorax is corrected, the patient will not be satisfied if such conspic conspicuous scars remain. We plastic surgeons are greatly concerned about how wounds heal and do our best to avoid making conspicuous scars. Aside from treating chest deformity, we plastic surgeons often treat scars to make them inconspicuous. This is one such example. The scars on the belly of this patient, caused by previous surgeries, are very conspicuous. We removed the scar tissues and sewed the skin using special techniques. This patient had a scar on her forehead due to a traffic accident. I did an operation to make it less obvious. This patient also had a long scar on her right thigh due to a traffic accident. The scar was not only very conspicuous, but also restricted the movement of the thigh. So, I did operation and corrected it. Plastic surgeons use special techniques to sore wounds. I will explain about this technique in other lectures. However, in this lecture, I won't go so far and will explain about the most basic principle in dealing with the skin during operations. The truth is often very simple. The supreme principle or the most important point that a surgeon should keep in mind in performing operations is to place the wound edges at their previous and correct positions. This idea might not be clear to ordinary viewers, so I will explain this idea by referring to our actual situation. This is a female patient with pectus excavatum and I corrected the deformity. I decided to cut the skin on the outer side of her chest. Before I incised the skin, I marked the incision line using special blue dye. This dye phased out in a few weeks. Then I incised the skin, corrected the shape of the ribs, and placed metal bars to keep the corrected shape of the chest. After correcting the shape of the chest, I closed the incision by matching the edges of the wound together. It should be emphasized that surgeons should take special care to put the edges together exactly. This is because if no care is taken in bringing the edges of the wound together, the edges will never come to their correct positions. The points M and M' prime are a pair of two points originally positioned at the same site. However, 
When the chest was corrected and the edges were brought together, the two points didn't meet. This, so to say, mismatching phenomenon occurs with all points along the wound edges. For instance, N and prime N, another pair of points, also, also existed at the same position before cutting the skin, but don't match at the end stage of operation. I will explain why this mismatching phenomenon occurs. When the skin is cut along the line shown, shown in the left picture, the wound widens as shown in the right picture. The blue and the green points had existed at, at matched points with their counterparts before the skin was incised, but they had parted. The essential part of the operation is conducted in the area marked with this circle. In this area, the ribs are cut and the bar is placed. However, the tools of operation are inserted through the incision. In surgery, an assistant puts a retractor on one edge of the wound and pulls it upward so that the operator can get a good view of the essential area. As one edge of the wound is retracted, the skin on the pulled, pulled side is expanded. This expansion distorts the skin. Therefore, the edges of the skin don't match at their initial positions, even after the assistant stops retraction. Therefore, if the surgeon doesn't pay special attention in matching wound edges together to place them at correct positions, the edges never fail to be wrongly positioned. Nevertheless, a majority of surgeons don't make special efforts to match wound edges appropriately. This is the reason why I mark the skin before cutting it. During the operation, the edge, at the edge of one side of the wound is expanded by the retractor. Therefore, I place the wound edges to their correct positions by referring to the marks that I had made at the beginning of the surgery. Only then do I saw the wound. This process, the process of adjusting wound edges to their correct positional relationships, is the most important premise in expecting good wound healing to be inconspicuous. This is the summary. In the operation to correct chest deformity, the surgeon incises skin on the side of the patient, patient's chest. The edges of the wound are expanded during the operation. And the correct positional relationship is lost. If the surgeon doesn't carefully adjust the wound edges to their correct positions, the wound doesn't heal well and can grow into a conspicuous scar. To avoid this, the surgeon must match the wound edges at their correct positions. Thank you for listening. I hope this lecture not only provides tips to patients selecting surgeons, but is also of some help for surgeons to improve their skills.